And the very last thing I'm going to add to the game is a multiplier. So I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to unlock my UI. And I'm going to reload this image. I have a second copy that's a little bit smaller. Its height is 550. And then I'm going to put the hotspot in the bottom left corner. So that way it can snap to the bottom of the screen since it's not quite a full square in height. Then I'm going to highlight one of these sets of three objects over here. I'm going to copy that, make sure I'm on my UI layer when I paste it. I'm going to take my label and move it slightly down. I'm going to change the words on the label to multiplier. And instead of having a level text object, I'm going to make a new one. So let's delete that. I'm going to name this object multiplier. I'm going to resize this box to be two squares tall and the width of the column. I have the font be 30 just like it was on my other text objects. Horizontal alignment center, vertical alignment center. Then on my event sheet, I'm going to just copy and paste one of these. And instead set the multiplier object. I'm going to need to create one more global variable. Initial value 1. And since global variables count as an event, this should put us right at the 100 event limit. So set our multiplier instead of to score, we're going to set it to the multiplier variable. And then down where we score, which is when we remove a row, we're going to take our score. We're going to multiply times our multiplier variable. I'm going to copy and paste this add to. Because we want our multiplier to be increased by 1 anytime we clear a line which also means we need to set our multiplier text. So let's copy that. Paste that right after we increase our multiplier. I'm going to put score with our score change right here. And then what we want to do is, if this is not the case, we're going to want to reset it to zero. So that means we need to change this to an else. But I want to do these no matter what. So I'm going to take those and put those right here. Remove row, game over test. I'm going to remove that blank one, and I'm going to instead add an else. Add action, system, set value, multiplier, back to 1, which means we need to update our multiplier text. And since these are something we want to do no matter what, we're going to put them also in the else so it happens whether we clear a line or we don't. Then we can run to test this change. So here we'll clear two lines, which should give us 2,000 points. This will clear one line, which should give us 1,000 points times two is 2,000 more points to take us to 4,000. Here we're going to clear one more line, which is 1,000 points times three is 3,000. That should take us to 7,000 points. So now our multiplier is four, but we can't clear a line. So whenever it goes in place, it should go back to one. Well, you can certainly add more to the game. Since we have everything working, I'm going to say that this concludes this video series.